My name's Richard Elkington, and uh, the place is called The Drawing Room, or has become known as The Drawing Room. I'm as surprised as anybody that I'm still here. I had spent 10 years in one form of management consultancy or another before coming here. And I got to a point in my life where I was just completely and utterly miserable. I then spent the next sort of nine months of planning what I was going to do, and it was almost as if everything can then popped into place. We actually started on the first International Day of Peace, which was 21st of September 2002. By the time I actually sort of got into the building, it was very clear that there was some sort of a soul here, because on my first night, even though I hadn't signed any paperwork on the place, I needed somewhere to crash put down an airbed, pillow, sleeping bag, and as I lay down, it felt as if somebody just stepped inside my head and just said, you've come home. So I, I've opened up all bar one room as my home to everybody to use. I put myself on the menu as the caretaker. I, I facilitate, in other words, I create the space. So what I really want to happen is for people to kind of use the place, almost like a community centre, and to hope that somehow or other along the way it pays, pays for itself in what we do here. It's about feeling. And so when people come here, they're always introduced to whom they're sat beside, and that's kind of the deal. It means that you always get to meet somebody new and hopefully interesting each time you come. some extraordinary musicians coming through here from, you know, I think the youngest I've had here is a nine-year-old. There was a kid called Jack Garrett who um, he's like a rash all over Radio 1 and 2 and he's, there isn't a major stage that he hasn't kind of played on. From the age of 15 he was gigging here because there's a magic that takes place. What is happening here in a really quiet and intimate space is a form of collective conscious because everybody is listening to the same moment, in that same moment. Where music comes from is, is, is our souls. And so they're exposing their souls and sharing what goes on within their hearts to anything from 50 to 150 people. But I'm passionate about that kind of level of concentration because it creates magic, a true magic. It's not a job, it, it genuinely is a sort of way of life and it feels as if it's a sort of... Uh, now it feels like my responsibility to keep it going because there are so many people that it means so much to. The flowers on the tables, for example, outside and all the ashtrays and the chairs. And that, nothing's bolted down. Nobody touches anything, nobody harms the place. So there's obviously a level of affection or ownership of this space by people who live here. When I first opened, some gentleman of the press or somebody asked me what I hoped to achieve or what I was doing. In my head, what I thought I, I wanted to give or have something that the town would be proud of. I, I think that that dream has been realized. I know that it does a lot of good. I know that it, it provides a lot for a lot of people. For me, uh, it's my home. First and foremost, it's my home. So for lots of different reasons, it's important to me. Lots of stories that I'm still enjoying watching unfold and um, long may that continue.